Hello and welcome to another week of Energy and Star Sign readings with myself, Thomas Janak. Before we go into the reading, I just wanted to address you all, <laughs> because as you know, um, we've recorded um, well over 65 episodes, and every now and then I actually do have a guest reader, which I absolutely thoroughly enjoy. And so I'm still looking for readers. If you are a reader and you have no problem coming to uh, to Canock, where I live, sit with me on my table and do an episode with me, um, where we just share the star signs, that would be really, really appreciated. All you need to do is contact me, which is very easy. You just uh, subscribe to the channel, you know, leave a comment, or find me on Facebook. Uh, Facebook page uh, is uh, here. Sorry, <laughs> right? Just get in touch. Make yourself known would be absolutely awesome to have you on the show, if that makes sense. And now we're going into the reading for the week. Thank you. Is this thing working? Uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Are you in the shop? Yeah, yeah I think so. Hello and welcome to another week of energy and star sign readings with myself, Thomas Janak, and my guest, Laura Jean. She's back. Yay! I already did a little introduction before we started the video. <clears throat> so we're looking at a week of December the 7th to the 13th. Now, on December 6th, which is obviously not in this week, in Germany we have what is called St. Nicholas Day. So you put your shoes out and then your parents put some chocolate into your shoes and pretend St. Nicholas um, did a detour, he was here early, he will still come back on Christmas <laughs> and get you more. And I keep this tradition. So um, we're recording this actually earlier than the 6th of November, of December. I just want to let you know that I will get some chocolate that I pretend is from St. Nicholas. So that means, because I'm bringing this up, a lot of the stuff that's happening this week will also be directed. So when we read Star Signs, pay attention to your inner child. Because when they give me this childhood memory, and we're not even recording the week where the 6th of December is in, um, because we're recording this in November, because, you know, we will be a, a month older when, we, when, when December rolls by. So it's nice to record it now. <laughs> kind of thing. So just be prepared to whatever is coming your way, also to listen and remember that a lot of the stuff that you're being told or will be told by the guides also has to do when they say, for instance, when, they, when the star sign says connect, it doesn't just mean connect to the situation you're in, but also connect to the younger you, um, the more vulnerable part. Because when you're a child, uh, as nice as childhood can be, you're really not in charge. You just have to follow what people tell you, and people a lot oftentimes tell you you can't do this because they just don't understand that you are unique. And since this is directed at you who are spiritual and find your messages, um, very likely you will have been at some stage at least, um, that person on the receiving end of this, oh, you can't really do this, this is silly, kind of thing. So that's what I'm getting. So um, be aware that um, a lot of that stuff will also have to do with your um, inner child. You also notice, because we're talking about um, December, that November was a tough month. Uh, deliberately, we were all asked to look at our traumas. And now um, we're coming really... This is the first week properly because the, the, we had the beaver moon on the 30th of November, which gives us no clarity, but it normally lingers for a couple of days. So around the 5th and 6th, and now we're starting this week on the 7th, that's where the, the clarity level in the energy is at its highest. Okay, so that just affects all of us. And now we're looking at the overall energy for the week of December the 7th to the 13th, 2020. Thank you. Welcome. So uh, I've got a couple of cards that have come out in the overall energy. Um, we've got positivity, faith and optimism and also the strength card. And I'm being called to have one more as well. Okay, so there's a little bit of energy of uh, nervousness. And the card for positivity, faith and optimism really talks about um, not letting any minor setbacks or maybe perhaps uh, the experiences that you've had over this year already and the trials that we've been through, 
to um to have any lasting impact in the energy around you and just approach things with the faith and optimism that something new and fresh can begin uh, there might be a tendency to to mentally look um have this addictive uh, way of going down the same path that we always have and it's just a real call to be strong and look forward with um, some hope and optimism and also the lion is here as well which is telling you there's courage so even if something minor setbacks happen um, there will be an energy of leading up to solstice and uh, and Christmas as well so there'll be a lot of conflicting things going on and it's just really saying to just keep remain positive and find the things within yourself um, from that childlike essence and use your own inner drive and inner courage to just keep pushing through and it's not a time to stop really and slow down in terms of your the, the spirit and the faith that you have within and to just keep going with it and keep trying to find uh, the bright and, and the, the, the high energy within you that spurs you on to keep going for, uh, for, yeah, for after solstice. It's because it's really nearing the end of uh, the darkest time so keep going and pour a really nice energy into what's coming yeah okay thank you very much so now we're going into the first star sign we're still in Sagittarius and um, <clears throat> I always you see I can't remember what star signs we're in for the life of me so normally even though uh, instead of watching last week's video because it's normally 30 minutes long I always just ask Alexa to tell me what, what, what star sign is, is in December <laughs> And so she always says, yeah, whatever star sign is in. And she told me this morning that Sagittarius or Sagittarians are known for being very upbeat people. And when you listen to the um, energy of the overall, the overall energy for the week, um, and you know, having faith and optimism, if this is one of your natural traits, the traits of a star sign, because we're still individuals, but the trait of a star sign, um, then um, use it. I also don't normally remember what uh, else anyone tells me about it. I just ask what star sign means so I know where to start. But because I recall her saying that uh, Sagittarians are very upbeat um, star sign, or zodiac signs as the Americans sort of say it, um, and I recall it, obviously I mention it then. So be upbeat in no matter what happens. And now we have a look at what actually the week holds for um, Sagittarians. And normally the guides give me about two um, guides or two cards to look at. You get three. Okay, and you have basically solitude, wonders and relaxation. How this, what that means is we're going towards, like you were saying, you were going towards the solstice. We're still in this time where after the solstice is where we really open up again. Where we go like, yeah, we have, we have re a renewed energy. <clears throat> but the energy of this month is much higher than November's kind of thing, but there's still some work to be done. And what the guides are saying to you is, with regards to solitude, don't hide, right? Because solitude oftentimes means I, I, I just take me time. They're not asking you to take me time all week. What they're saying is, stay within you. Feel what you feel and allow to express this. So the solitude that I'm getting is not the solitude of saying like, okay, I'm locking my doors now, I'm not talking to anybody, I'm off Facebook, I'm not gonna use my phone. This is more about saying, uh, because remember we talked about inner child, um, I'm having a look still, continue to have a look at what's going on inside me and pay attention to that because your middle um, card of the three, so to speak, is wonders. So you get proper answers by reflecting on your life as it has been and as it is. And then you have relaxation. So what they're saying is this is more about reflexing, refle reflecting, not fighting. This is just like, okay, this has happened and this still affects me. And when you say it still affects me and you're not happy with it, then you just say, you know, it affects me and I'm not having it. I'm working myself out of this. So you manifest that you get more strength. <clears throat> and that's why you have relaxation. What they're saying is don't fight through it. Don't think it has to shift within a day or even within the week. This is just saying like I'm reflecting and where are the areas of my life where I'm not really fulfilled because i'm not getting anything else other than the word fulfillment and then um you know make minor changes that make sense just start making changes nothing aggressive if that makes sense and then relax around it you know trust that what you're saying and the way you you um 
carry yourself and the very fact that you're now standing up, you know, <clears throat> is enough to get the ball rolling. Okay, so just try within the energy of the week, still be relaxed about it because it is in your calmness, which is also what solitude sort of, solitude sort of reflects, as nothing that um, <coughs> uh, distracts you, if that makes sense. So use all this energy that is coming your way and, um, and see things from within and from the inside and um, you will have enough courage to make changes because you will be supported to do them. Okay, that was Sagittarians going into Capricorn. So I'm picking up on a little bit of uh, pressure energy that's coming from within the family. Um, there might be a lot of push and pull with ideas and people's feelings about how they wish certain events to happen or how, um, how they want the family to be communicating or there's just a certain energy of perhaps some disagreements. And uh, we have the declutter card with the family card, which is usually a lot about more organisation. So some of you may be called to come to the forefront and uh, really speak out in an organised manner and, and be the one to speak into some family matters and how to uh, arrange things from a more simplistic point of view. So if you experience that you can see things very simply, don't be afraid, even if you've never been the one to stand up in any family matters or the forefront of any issues, to just speak the truth, because a simplistic way will always come from spirit and it will be well received. So going along with the, um, the energy of the positivity and faith, just have the, that positivity and faith that actually, maybe you might not have been listened to before, but now is a time for you to communicate. And when you do step up, that things can change in a more favorable way and there can be a bit more harmony within the family energy if some problems arise. Okay, there was Capricorn going into Aquarius. Let's have a look what we got. For Aquarians, it is really important to realize that you are very much supported by your guides. You have what is called the hunter of gifts, which means while you're still not 100% sure where your life is going, what your purpose is, just remember you don't have a random space. You all have, everybody has meaning and purpose. And it's sometimes not the most important thing to know what it is. The most important thing is to keep going and remembering, you know, I'm still feeling a bit <clears throat> wobbly about it. So, um, you know, I'm going to find it. And all the guys are saying is you have to hunt off gifts. So there is still changes in your energy that will direct you to something else. And don't worry, because you have the denser of frustration. So what they're saying is the very fact that you feel, ah, this isn't really for me, this isn't really working, um, drags you down, frustrates you, and all they're saying is don't go there. Just trust that you're sort of in between energies and they will guide you. But because you have free will, they can only show you certain things and you then decide what to do with them. That's what the hunter of gifts means. You have more than one skill <clears throat> and it's a matter of do I have to combine them? What do I have to do? And when you say, what do I have to do? You're waiting for answers. The answers are all within. The guides only give guidance, right? But the decision making uh, behind whatever it is you decide is still yours to carry, which is why we sometimes really still feel very much lost, mm -hmm. even though we work with guides all the time. Because sometimes they say like, don't bother me with that stuff. You figure it out. <laughs> if that makes sense. And they don't mean it, they don't say it that way, but the point is what they're saying to you is don't despair. Because the frustration, the getting annoyed about it, is what stops the progress because your energy goes like ting and it's low. And it doesn't work. And it's also very easy to cut positivity out by just feeling shit. If that makes sense. Right? And remember, you meet energies and people on your energy. So if your energy is low you meet lower energies. There will be more issues coming your way than if you say, you know what, I'm going to get through this. And they're showing me cake, so that doesn't mean you should overeat. It just means like, you know, um, be, have, have something sweet, if that makes sense. So they're showing me cake, not necessarily to be eaten. It's just a symbolism for saying like, yes, I, I feed myself some nice stuff mm -hmm. because obviously it changes your endorphins actually. Mm -hmm. And you go like, yay, right? Um, also, it gives you a bit of a wider 
<laughs> yeah, but, but there's always something that goes along with it. All the guys are saying this to Aquarians. Your main thing to do this week is to keep going and trust that answers will come and don't give in to frustration, right? And now we're going into uh, Pisces. Piscean, sorry. <laughs> My star sign. And I'm just gonna go see. We have Star Trek mugs here because I'm a big fan. <laughs> Yay, Star Trek! So, <laughs> <laughs> so we're we going into uh, Pisces now. Yeah, Pisces. So we have uh, the Lovers card and visualize abundance in all forms. So this is very much about. They're asking you to make sure that you're not giving into any negative situations regarding any type of love or romance. And that can be in any form. It can be the way you wish to feel in your relations with people. <clears throat> and it's like, don't give in when the positivity thing comes in again. Spend some time to actually, I'm picking up on uh, daydreams. So perhaps if you are wondering about love or you're, you're coming into a relationship or anything like that, it's be able to uh, visualise the possibilities and the way that you want to feel. And if you go back down the memory lane, um, remember all the positive things that loving relationships do bring and that having good relationships with people can bring because this will keep you in that energy vibration of attracting what you want. It's coming from the last thing that you were saying. So um, where there is love involved, don't give in to any fears and actually spend the time to indulge in the good feelings that come from it. And also spend some time to imagine and create the energy that you wish to feel by visualising how it would be if it, everything was to be, you know, really, really good for you and uh, in like high vibrational energy. Awesome. That doesn't sound too bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I always listen intently when, when there's oh, yeah, Pisces no, going yeah. on. You know? <clears throat> so now we're going into Aries. Let's have a look what we got for Aries. There we go. Yeah. Well, only if you, if you have two or three cards here. <laughs> wow. Okay. We always have overlapping energy. Remember? And it feels to me because we just talked about Pisceans and, 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 and love is one of those energies where you actually start believing again mm, in yeah. new opportunities, new beginnings. Very and abundant. yes, absolutely. But you also you you create it then, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Which is what why what made sense when you said if you go back to memory lanes like, oh mm -hmm. remember this one. But you go back there and then there is no trust. So and it feels like we're going not not up a notch, but um I, I sort of needed to mention Pisceans now to make sense for Aries because new beginnings are really all happening right now. Remember we're looking at the week of December the 7th to the 13th. Right now is the time where new beginnings are really happening for you. So don't block them. Be adventurous. Be saying, you know, let's just say you, 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 you weren't sure as of now <laughs> about something. The guides are saying is you can't be sure because you haven't explored the situation properly yet, right? You really um, try to assess it from an energy point of view or you try to look for things that probably um, give you hints. Have I seen this before? Is this good or bad? Don't analyze. Just remember new beginnings are coming and you want to make this work. So have high energy, be adventurous. Sounds a bit weird, but if I had the feeling is try new things. Don't go into the patterns that sort of created problems, if that makes sense. You know, have more trust. And also because new beginnings is the overall energy for Aries. You very likely, energetically speaking at least, you will very likely, that's, how, that's what I'm getting, you will not have the same thing happen to you. So if there's anything you need to let go, let it go and trust that the new beginning will be rewarding in its own way. And at the same, by the same token, if you feel that the last, um, because I'm getting this about relationship more than work, mm. right? So that's good. Love is in the air, right? So there's something <laughs> happening for Aries, right? And all they're saying is if you still think like, oh, I, I, I trusted last time, when you're deep, sensitivity cannot be switched off. And unless you give 100%, you know, you don't get 100%. So deep people will always be the one, if we get burned, we get, we get burned massively and all the guides are saying to Aries 
So what? Welcome to the club. You will be fine. But because there's new beginnings and adventure, the higher your energy is, and when you say like, yeah, I'm giving this another go, I'm giving this another push, um, the better this works. They also show me um, a gym, which means if this isn't for people about relationship, is what they're saying is when you feel like, oh, bloody hell, I just, you know, uh, I just want to get fit again, but I, I, I waited if the world ends or not, and now I'm putting some effort in. It's like, I feel it's like when you, when you sort of, you go there because you feel it would help you, but you're really not in it mm -hmm. yet. And all the things, be adventurous. You know, if you feel like, wow, I, I can only walk 20 minutes or 20 seconds, good. Book a high energy glass. <laughs> I just keep getting Mars has gone direct as well, and there's some fire energy that's really behind. Uh, yeah. Aries will resonate strongly anyway, yeah. which is... Uh, quite triumphant very yeah. straight down. But I, yeah absolutely because what i'm getting is for them to say like you know uh, it doesn't matter how i feel and and i know let's just say because they give me a gym you know all of a sudden so, someone says like okay or you think i just paid for the gym you know we don't even know if they're open because we're in the middle of this lockdown thing Maybe. but but the, but yeah hopefully but the point is that even though you you now book a class and you kind of think there's no way i'm getting through so it doesn't matter pay your five pounds for the class and if you leave halfway through you did half the class mm -hmm. don't burden yourself with failure if if things are not quite working out yet you know it's a matter of time you have to build up and building up is unfortunately or fortunately the way you look at it very normal you know it takes years for because they give me the gym for people to look stunning if that makes sense because you have to rebuild everything kind of thing if this is your thing where you want to look great but um, a lot of the time, you know, you, people don't keep it up and they just revert to how they were because they haven't made the changes in their lives mm -hmm. kind of thing. So, you know, don't, don't, uh, if you go to the gym, don't, don't get a picture of Schwarzenegger, how he looked in his 30s because this guy, you know, um, trained every day eight hours because he had no friends, still don't, <laughs> you know. But so don't be focused on something that is probably unobtainable. Mm -hmm. Just go with the flow and remember because the guys obviously give me this class that you're supposed to book, it's just symbolism, which means push yourself and the universe will keep pushing you and you will get there much earlier than saying like, oh, I really can't do this, which is why you have the adventure card here. Be adventurous, trust. And the other thing that I'm getting is be a bit lighthearted, think like, oh, I haven't done this before, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna do that. Even though you probably have no idea what they're even talking about. They're giving me Sumba mm, and nice. I, I am a complete idiot. What it means is I I have someone next I need someone next to me to see what we're doing. Mm. I cannot really watch people. It doesn't work. Mirror work doesn't work with me. Yeah. Very yeah. well. And so what happens to me is um they all go and I just go left and right and, and then, <laughs> and, then, and then I end up looking at 20 asses eventually because I can't follow what they're doing. So what I'm saying is Sumba doesn't bring me any joy because I can never understand what they're doing. So I went there once and like I'm going, to do, I'm going to do another class, right? The point I'm making is, I still sweat it. Mm. I still bump about to music for an hour. I just say my goodbyes a bit quicker because I feel like fucking hell, I have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> the point I'm making is, because that's what they're giving me, it's like, you went there, so get through it. Don't look at other people and because they're more advanced. Mm. You automatically was in like, wow, they're all so good and I'm just not. It's pointless to... Hit, you, hit yourself over the head with things you haven't quite mastered yet. Mm. With, if anybody would think that way, you wouldn't master anything. So that's really important because new beginnings are really coming your way. And you were talking about the fire here yeah. and there is a sunset or sunrise or something like this here. <clears throat> so the depictions are quite, are quite important. They're actually the first fire sign. So that, their, their innate energy is really good at new beginnings and yeah. startups. Yeah. And, start and this things. is the week where, where the universe is saying, like, go for it. Yeah. You know? So that's really cool. So there was Aries going into your star sign, isn't it? Taurus? Yeah. Yeah, going into Taurians. Let's have a look oh, what they got. Yes. <laughs> okay, you happy? <laughs> um, right, so we have the trouble card and Oops. also attracting, not chasing. So I can definitely resonate with this because there's been an energy of communication um, and a lot of it. And uh, whilst there might be with this optimism and faith that comes in, um, a hell of a lot of energy and, and thoughts and ideas of new beginnings, but also those things that you may have um, 
you may have dreamed of and you want them to come into fruition it's like don't go too far because um you know the trouble starts when you can overload yourself with too much communication and also trying to push things a little bit too fast or trying it goes back into a bit of a control energy and when the universe is trying to offer you things and give you them it comes from a place of real stillness and it's just your natural authenticity that attracts the right situations in the right timing so there's kind of um this a little bit of a warning not to push any events or anything significant any collaborations or anything with anybody too much and just allow it to come in its own time um so still yeah still being uh, in a bit more of a restful energy and trust definitely trusting that um you will attract what is needed at the right time and we don't need chess after it. Hmm. Okay, short and sweet, actually. For Tereans going into Gemini, let's have a look what we got for Geminis. Actually, quite an easy week uh, for Geminis because you have the Hunter of Vision and the Spirit of Truth. So the universe is helping you finding more than just your feet. You know, it's a different thing to find your feet and then go. This is more like, yeah, we're finding you or we're helping you find what really fulfills you because you already have put the work in. So that's, it feels like you're being rewarded for, for putting the work in. So you have the hunter of visions and the guides say, yeah, we understand that, that you're sort of uh, semi-lost. Because that's only what happens when you hunt something. You're obviously a bit lost at times. And also hunting is not a negative term in spirituality is because just you go for something that can probably feed your family, that can help you. It's a very different thing to what it is these days, right? Um, so that's a different symbolism that makes sense. So hunting is not being aggressive, it just means like going for the stuff. And because you have the hunter of vision, keep going and they will support you because they have the spirit of truth, which means once you realize that's what I wanted to do or that feels right, you have the spirit of truth. And all of a sudden you go like, Oh, I thought this feels differently or felt or, or supposed to feel differently. So sometimes you actually um, hunt your vision and when the vision is within reach, you have changed. So what the guides are saying, you know, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, I'm glad you said it. <laughs> but so what they're saying is don't be disheartened when you, because I have the feeling, you know, you're looking for a straight answer and life is a learning curve. There are no straight answers because how would you grow? You know, like, how do I get to this left? Doesn't, doesn't quite work, you know. And so that's what they always be reminded, also be reminded of. But you have the spirit of truth. So what the guides are saying is this is a, this is a week where you are not forced, it's the wrong word, but strongly suggested to find your truth and begin to look at it. Because if things aren't working, you just have another vision. That you can follow so you're not really lost you're just in the middle of sort of change and sometimes you want something so badly that you don't see other things because you're just going that away mm. and so that's what i'm getting for gemini is to sort of say like, let, let's let's do things a bit differently let's trust a little more but because you have the hunter of vision um this is a week where you are also guided and supported by your guides to really explore opportunities and feelings and therefore you will get there quicker because there's little disruptions if that makes sense right um short and sweet for gemini's going into cancerians let's see what we got for cancerians okay so we have uh, release resentments about money these are abundance cards but i kind of use the words in in on all factors of life and also uh, the joy card, which is a beautiful butterfly on here. So what I'm picking up is that there has been a metamorphosis uh, anyway, and the, the real levels of change that might have been happening and constantly being in this, uh, the, this cocoon energy and the things that you might have been gestating with, um, again, is uh, going back to keeping the faith and optimism that it can really flourish into something that you really wished it to. So it's don't really um, hold on to any previous regrets or any any 
anything that may have gone wrong in the past, especially I am picking up on money, is definitely the business em emphasis that just because we are where we are right now and the, the cl current climate, there might be something that you want to go for and to push on with. And it's just um, really showing me that the energy is right now to fly and to claim that joy and that um, it's kind of ripe for you to take off and take flight within that and um, don't hold yourself back by uh, worries about how the future and what the future might hold for it as well regarding the money or any investments that might have, might have been made because um, the butterfly is saying it is definitely time and the metamorphosis the energy behind it has already been created and it's a perfect time to push forward with those things and, and yeah don't let any previous money worries or problems or any thought patterns that make you consider um, how something is just going to have longevity just be in the now the butterfly only has um, actually a very short lifespan once it goes into the flying stage so it's like don't be afraid that you won't have the ability to come up with the next thing even if this thing is momentarily it's got to be just the pure energy of uh, it works right now so just go for it don't think of anything in the future or how it might last just uh, you go for it now yeah mm -hmm. perfect thank you so much that was cancerians going into leo and then we have virgo libra and um, scorpio still left so and they give us three cards for um leo okay when we have three animal guides if that makes sense the one in the middle we pay the most attention to so the one in the middle is the red wolf and the red wolf is also known as the Ethiopian wolf because he lives in the desert, hence he's red. <laughs> and the message is always the same when we talk about animals in the desert is that they have to really pace themselves right because the energy is finite and there's also less opportunities um, because there's just less life for the wolf to, uh, to get and plus the wolf is a pack animal. So he's always a bit concerned about getting enough for the family, right? So your energy this week, to cut a long story short for Leos, is, is an energy of like, oh, there's not really much going on right now, and I'm a bit worried. And that's what drains you. It's one thing to realize it may be a bit of a slow week, and another one to overemphasize on it isn't working. Because it's not that it isn't working. What is happening is that you're already a bit exhausted. Mm -hmm. And because you have the osprey on the left, which is the animal that leads into the, um, the red wolf, you have already made progress. But because you're in your wolf energy, red wolf energy, you don't see it. You absolutely don't see that the efforts you put in are actually paying off, right? Things are getting better. So the advice, therefore, is to remember, yes, Right? You're not fully in charge of your pack and of your world, right? And you are yourself a bit, it's the word they give me, emaciated. It's like you, you yourself are not feeling so great and you feel there's something missing. You have as the outgoing card or energy and, and animal guide for your issues this week. You have the elk, which means you have an animal with antlers. You're fully protected. And the elk is really a strong animal. You wouldn't, you wouldn't mess with one. You know, mm. years and years ago they had the they called it the elk test, and there were some. It just happened that they, they 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 had Mercedes or something, tested them in Sweden, and an elk ran out and, and flipped the car, and so um, sales went down. I remember that years ago because obviously everybody talks about German cars, I'm, you know, and so people because I lived already abroad and I don't I don't drive. People were saying to me, oh, what happened to German cars? They called them elk test, you know, and so it just comes up here. It just means like you know, um, even if you're in a bloody car. A German car <laughs> and the elk comes up to you the car goes flying so what they're saying to you is you're fully protected but the elk like all deer type animals needs to really pace itself right um, because they are not capable of having energy all day mm. kind of thing and so you need to pace yourself right I think what I'm getting is, is this is really about faith and about trust because when you get an animal with antlers, the guys are saying, we got you. And you have made progress, right? You just have to get over this feeling like, wow, that was tough. And, you know, <clears throat> in order to make things better, right? Okay, I know they, you know, when, when you work with animal guides, it, it is a bit sometimes difficult to explain it because all symbolism and it's not words, mm -hmm. you know? 
um, but you get quite a lot out of that, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. And so what they're saying to you is the red wolf has also survived life in the desert yeah. literally for, for, for decades, or if not centuries. So, you know, you will be fine, okay? But pace yourself right and please look at the progress you have made and realize, yeah, we're going somewhere, okay? That was that for Leos going into Virgo. Let's see what we got for Virgos. Wow, so we have the Destiny card and also God is your source. And uh, there's a very, I want to say like a, a pure energy, which obviously when you're talking about source energy, um, it really speaks of someone who has um, kind of come to that ability to be able to dig within, within themselves, to be open to everything that they need and to also find their own resource for faith um, because it's kind of like I also feel as if I'm being um, closed in a little bit so it might be a week to really just go within and trust within yourself and not really look towards your opinion or guidance and where you're going because destiny is when you align fully with self and trust that the work that you've done so far and your connection that's within you and with, within your heart and that spirit is with you, that you don't need to know exactly what's coming next. Your destiny is already unfolding. So there's a little bit of relax and there's the kind of don't look for answers around you. Just feel it with inside and that it will all come to you and allow things to unfold by just doing naturally what you feel is right moment to moment. So it's quite a, um, I just want to say like a pinpoint, this is like a, a very fine, I'm getting like the head of a needle. So this is a really fine energy, a focus to come to, which is only can be gained within self. So there might be a necess necessity to, um, yeah, get some a bit more solitude and be able to sit with yourself if you feel really lost and you're not quite at that point, because there are some answers there and that um, you are your own source of um, all things, comfort and the strength, the positivity, the optimism. You don't need to look outside, it really needs to come from within this week. Yeah, and to just trust because destiny is unfolding in the right way. Yeah, I think your alignment is there. So um, by looking outside as well and uh, by taking other people's opinions, you can easily get swayed into their energy or whatever it is that they they are currently doing and the way they do things it's like no right now you're on target and you're on course and if you don't feel that you are take some space back for yourself and then go within to that point because everything is unfolding correctly if you listen if you listen to yourself and trust within okay thank you very much that was virgo now we have libra and scorpio left so we're going into the second last asana of the week libra let's have a look what we got for libra Okay, cards already fall out, so that means I have no work, you know, just they just give it to me. <clears throat> Four Librans, I think that's how they call it, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Librans. Four Librans, <clears throat> you have quite encouraging, powerful animal guides here. You have mm -hmm. the bald eagle and the rabbit. Again, he's a bird of prey, right? Which means he doesn't take orders. It doesn't mean, I'm not, it's, it's, sometimes people sort of hear this directly, say, you said not to take orders, now I lost my job. <laughs> I'm not responsible for your life, we just work here. <laughs> but what I'm getting is, this is a week to, to realize and remember that you know very well what's going on, you just have to have a look, right? Nobody fools an eagle. So, right? So you're not going to get fooled. Nothing's also, because the eagle obviously has quite a good eyesight. Um, you really see things for what they are. And all the guys are saying is, you know, be in your strengths. Don't go into, as you know, just said, be in your strengths, as if you're not in your strengths. So they get a bit, it was a bit of a, an annoyance sound here <laughs> that I just detected. So what they're saying is, you know, come out of this bad mouthing yourself, right? Be in your strengths, you're gonna be fine because you see opportunities, you know, uh, from a mile away. And you have the rabbit. So what that means is that changes will come. I always say that when this animal comes up, that change is the only constant in the universe, mm -hmm. right? Even when people say like, oh, I've been in the same job for 20 years, or I've been with the same person for 20 years, 
you know, when you look back at your life, how it was 20 years ago, it's completely different. Because change is everywhere, change cannot be halted. Change is also healthy, because otherwise you just succumb to one energy which doesn't allow you to explore yourself. Here is why the rabbit is coming up for um, Libras. Because the rabbit is saying, here are my rabbit holes, and each of them is like a city. So you can explore a lot of stuff at your leisure, and it will not end. It will just go somewhere else. And if that doesn't float your boat, we, we, we duck another one. <laughs> so in no way are you halted by your life, regardless of the, the times we're in. Where nobody knows, you know, all shops are closed, a lot of people are being made redundant, you know. Um, change is constant, you will be fine. And this is basically the message to Librans that already, if you turn them manifest and are not giving in to this feeling of, of being um, depressed and unwanted, um, new beginnings are coming. You just have to be brave enough to probably do something you haven't done before. That's what I'm getting as well when you have the rabbit hole. And someone says, oh, for the last 20 years I was a nurse, you know, and says, that's nice. If you try the accountancy, <laughs> and you kind of go like, why would I do that? Because that's where right now you could work, right? And if you're not fulfilled where you are, obviously you're not holding on to it, or you have been made redundant, this is obviously just examples here, right? So what they're saying is if you, if you feel like, you know, you've been working somewhere, what happens is when you do the same thing for a long time, you, be, you get comfortable with it. And unless every now and then you get a bit you know, get a kick up the butt kind of thing, you, you, you're not doing anything. How can you get better, you know, if that makes sense? The guides make sure uh, uh, a lot, all of a sudden they tell you stuff that I don't understand and like, well, you know, look at it then kind of thing. And so you're constantly asked to, to get better and, and work because obviously, you know, people are in our care, if that makes sense. So yeah, Ed, if you want I have, to add. A, have an image of uh, the rabbit because if you watch a rabbit when it moves, you never really know which way it's going to turn. Absolutely. And you can watch it and follow it, and it can just jump one way or the next. But the eagle, because the eyesight is so great, yes, can... if that is you catching your prey, it doesn't matter which way it turns. Abs absolutely. You will always land on the prize. Yeah. Which also, it's, it's, a very, it's, a, it's actually quite positive. The reason why the guides talk so much about it is because you can actually undo that all. You can just go like, oh, don't trust it. I don't know what I'm seeing. Oh God, I don't really know if I should go this way. All the things, relax. That's why you have the bold eagle. If you were an eagle, he doesn't go there like, oh God, I haven't eaten in two hours. Uh, is this the one to go for or this? Mm. It doesn't have that thought process. Um, and so they're saying to you is don't overthink, just trust, which is again, we have this a lot of overlapping energy. We mentioned faith mm. quite a bit. Hate that word because I can't pronounce TH, faith. You know, kind of thing. I do this on purpose, just, you know, so, so, I, so I trip up with my S's in my... <laughs> anyway, so remember that opportunities come your way. Don't focus on something that you know well. Just trust that whatever new thing could come your way. Or if it is the same thing, you know, tell them that you've been doing this for a long time. And it's time within the area that you know well. It's time for change, you know. Ask them for the promotion that you think you deserve, right? And if they don't do it, someone else might. You know, so what they're saying is be, be much more free uh, and don't be stuck with stuff where you kind of go like, you know, all I ever did for the last 20 years, I give them the name, the number 20 here quite a, quite a lot. So it's nothing really matter that we're all 20 years in the same thingy Um So that's what the guys are saying is don't get used to what you have. When you reflect on it and you feel like it's not working, speak up. And there's always another option if you just allow it to happen, right? Quite powerful for a Librans. Now we're going into the very last star sign of the week, or for the week, which is Scorpio. And we're looking at the week of December the 7th to the 13th, 2020. Please subscribe to the channel um, or, you know, find us on the, on the page. Um, I also um, copied your soul solace thing, so, so find us. Our names are here, so you, you can find out uh, who we are. I didn't put the Star Trek thing here because I want to get in trouble with, with Paramount. Um, I just put it there because I just think it's, it's nice. Blue is awesome. It helps us speak. It's a you know, kind of thing. I know a bit tricky. Live long and prosper. Right kind of thing. So let's go into Scorpio. So I'm really pleased to have Scorpio today. Today is the birthday of a friend who passed away. 
a oh, couple wow. of years ago and she's a Scorpio and uh, I've been feeling into that Scorpionic energy quite a lot so I'm happy that I have uh, this energy to be able to work with and, awesome. and use there. So we have home and quiet retreat which is quite an obvious message that comes up straight away which is to indulge and enjoy in your comforts and your surroundings. I'm also kind of getting the energy to uh, spend some time um, perfecting and making things nice for your environment. Um, you know, the, with the winter season coming up and on all kinds of things, you might be getting ready, or oh, I'm getting you getting ready, you could be getting ready to have some guests or spend some significant time with people that those you love because it feels really quite a nice warming energy of a family. Um, so there's, yeah, perhaps some just nice adjustments to your home, maybe some decorations or changing things, things around so that you feel comfortable and that you can really retreat into self and get some self-care and um, yeah, just some peace. Uh, peace is probably needed if this uh, energetic week is quite chaotic. You run up to Christmas, it always is, regardless of what the times are. Just make sure that you have really nice surroundings so that you can indulge and you feel very happy to stay put perhaps things before before things get really busy and perhaps before you actually have some nice visitors that you can indulge and spend some time with. So that's one. Okay, thank you very much. And I just noticed, well, I noticed this earlier, but I, but, I, but I wasn't sure. I put the camera in not quite evenly. So if you watch as if you're sitting <laughs> like this, that's just because um, you know, I messed it up a little bit. It doesn't matter, you know, you can still see it, but I can see that it's not quite even. Yeah. <clears throat> but also, there's no coincidence. It's actually good when things are not quite even, mm -hmm. because then you have to always balance yourself. So maybe this is about, you know, um, you know, do a little, put a little, that's what I'm getting, put a little bit of work in, you know, to be balanced and stuff. Doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, perfection is a man-made concept. Doesn't have to be perfect at all. Just do your best. That's all we have time for. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Laura, thank you so much. You know, thank you. and um, she will be back because we, we sort of agreed that we will do this monthly or whenever we have time, <coughs> right? So yeah, we'll see you all very soon. Bye bye now. Bye. bye.